Hi and welcome to another video on my channel. It's actually the first tutorial I ever made, so I hope it will be helpful and easy to understand. And by the way, if you already know what you're doing inside After Effects and you only want to know which effect you need for this, there are timestamps in the description below and inside the timeline. Okay, as first, if you care about your stats, kill death ratio or something else, I recommend you to create a smurf account. And yeah, I know since start of season 9 you can report players for smurfing, but as you will see this will not affect you because we don't go and ruin anyone's game. So when you are in the lobby screen there are a few things I recommend you to change in your settings. As first, you should turn off your kill feed. And also, if you have a controller, you should use it instead of your mouse because it's much easier to have a smooth motion. But you could also turn down your sensitivity in the mouse keyboard settings and do it with your mouse. So in the controller menu, set your preset to very low. Then jump to your video settings and turn your field of view all the way up so that you have a bigger scene. Okay, and for the rest, basically just turn on everything that costs you FPS but gives you the best and most beautiful graphics out of the game. But also make sure you don't have less than 30 FPS. I even recommend recording everything in 60 FPS so you can make smooth slow motions. If you can't reach enough FPS in game, just turn down the graphics settings again until you match at least your FPS target. Okay, now we are ready to queue up, but do not forget to uncheck this box right here because as I said before, we don't gonna ruin anyone's game and also if you are in a full squad, the name of your mates will appear at the edges of your screen and it's gonna make everything just harder. Once you are in the game, go to your location where you want your cinematics from and start recording. But also make sure while you are recording that your middle is actually your middle in post-production. What does that mean? For example, in Apex Legends I'm gonna use the right corner of my screen. This means I'm only gonna use this field to record. You can use your entire screen and remove your complete hunt in post-production, but to keep it as simple as possible I'm only use this field for my records and my cinematics. For example, if you want a straight cinematic that goes through a building or follows a road or something like this, you need to be aware that your middle is kind of your middle. Just like this, later this will be my cinematic. Also, for the best result, you can loot stuff that will cross your way and drop it somewhere else, so that it's not actually visible in your footage. And then be creative, go crazy with your movement or just make simple cinematics for your transitions. Okay, after we catch all of our clips, we jump into After Effects and with this footage we're gonna create a new composition. I'm gonna show you two different ways how you can create your own cinematics. As first, we need to trim our clip. Search your start and your ending point, place the markers and then trim it to the work area. Right after that, we need to zoom in a bit. I figured out if you go for around 137% in Apex, you will get a good result. Place it where you want, I place mine usually like this, so I have space around to play with. You will see why later. Set this to full quality. The first pretty easy but useful tool is the simple wire effect, you might know it already. Basically, you put a point A and a point B around the thing you want to remove. Increase then the thickness till your object is gone. As you can see this works kind of, but it really depends on the footage. For example if you want to remove your crosshair and it's in the sky, this will work pretty well. But if it's too complicated it will glitch out because it's kind of mirror effect. And now I'm gonna show you the real trick, it's actually pretty simple and easy to do. You might even know this effect already from Photoshop, that's called Content Aware Fill. If you can't see this effect, go to your Windows tab and click on Content Aware Fill. It will appear somewhere right here. It's actually pretty similar to Photoshop. As first, you need to make a mask on the part you want to replace. Set the mask to Subtract. Also, click on this box right here so you can see that it is transparent. After you made all mask around the things you want to remove, go to the effect and set your fill method to object. Alpha expansion should be on zero, otherwise it will be almost the same like a feathering out of your mask, kind of like a gradient, we don't want this. Range should be on work area, and then click on generate fill layer. Name your fill layer and put it in your project folder. Now After Effects will render out everything for you. It will take some time, but it also depends on your PC, how many frames and how much stuff needs to be replaced. 
but as you will see, it's worth to wait every second, because boom, look at this, everything is just gone. It's the same thing with the simple wire effect, it can glitch if there is much going on inside the footage, but it's for sure the easiest and fastest way to get rid of your crosshair and all other stuff. To make your cinematics even better and smoother, here is a great technique. As I told you before, I always want some space around here, because I try to match up the camera movement. But as first we need to link them, our fill layer will then move together with the entire footage if I'm moving it. So if the camera turns bright, I'm gonna place the start right here and then right there. It's actually not much, but it gives you more cinematic look, even though cinematic means nothing in reality, you gonna know what I mean. Now we can pre-compose this. By the way, I'm working kind of destructive here, but at the end I only need the finished product, not the steps between. So now we can apply everything we want. For example, I'm always put some sharpening in here because of the fact it's zoomed in. If you want to know what else you can do with your cinematics, let me know in the comments down below. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and maybe you could learn something new. Until the next time, see ya. When the lights are low. And there's no one around